Hey, what's up, everybody? In this video, we are going to be discussing the American Silver Eagle and the American Gold Eagle. Is the United States Mint keeping up with demand for silver and gold bullion? We're going to discuss that all in this video. Please hit the thumbs up button on this video and let me know your thoughts in the comment section below about everything that we discuss on this video. Just a few weeks ago, I noticed that premiums on American Silver Eagles were coming down, and now it seems like premiums on American Silver Eagles are going back up. Nothing real crazy, but it does seem there has been a bump up in the premiums. Let me know if you have noticed that as well. It's no secret that premiums on American Silver Eagles and even American Gold Eagles at times have been a problem. Very high premiums on both, especially the American Silver Eagle, very high premiums. At times, the excuse was that the United States Mint was unable to get enough planchets. They weren't able to produce enough American Silver Eagles to satisfy demand. Is that the problem right now? Regardless, let me know in the comment section below, are you currently buying American Silver Eagles or American Gold Eagles, or are you choosing to go a different route and buy a different option or maybe you're stacking cash let me know that in the comment section below a few weeks ago when i did a video on the american silver eagle and my opinion if we should be buying them or not the premium then was about 43 percent over spot as i record this video spot price during the recording of this video is about 23 dollars even and the cheapest American Silver Eagle that I can find is $34.08. That is a 48% premium. So I am seeing premiums go up. Now premiums will differ based on where you go to buy them, your LCS or whichever online dealer you may choose. A 48% premium does beat the 50%, 60%, and sometimes 70% premiums that we were seeing in 2021 and in 2022, and even going back to 2020. Are these premiums still too high? In my opinion, they are. I am not buying many American Silver Eagles these days, except for, of course, the one 2023 American Silver Eagle that you see in this video. However, are these premiums too high for you? I will leave that 100% completely up to you to decide and come to that conclusion. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section of this video. But now we're gonna go bounce over to the United States Mint website and take a look and see what are the sales currently as I record this video at the end of March in 2023 and how do the sales compare to 2022's sales for the American Silver and the American Gold Eagle, and we may even check out the American Gold Buffalo. Are sales to date up or down from what they were at this point in 2022? Let's go bounce over to the computer and we're gonna check that out. Let's bounce. We are on the United States Mint website looking at the current sales for the 2023 American Eagle bullion coins, and then we'll compare these with 2022 and see how 2023 compares to the 2022 American Eagle bullion coin sales. Now, for those of you who may not be aware, I'm sure most of you are, but the United States Mint does not sell bullion directly to the general public. They only sell the bullion coins to their authorized purchasers. And I do get a couple comments every now and then saying, what? I thought the United States Mint did sell American Silver Eagles to the general public. The United States Mint only sells their more collectible or higher premium numismatic coins to the general public, the ones that cost $80 a piece. But the bullion, they only sell to their group of authorized purchasers, not to the general public. And since we are only in the month of March, we are at the end of March. So the only sales that we have from the United States Mint goes through the month of March. Now, as we get into April, the United States Mint could always come in and change this number. So this number could go up. It could go over a million sales of American Silver Eagles 
for the month of March. But here you have the one ounce gold, half ounce gold, quarter ounce gold eagles, tenth ounce American gold eagles, then the total ounces sold, and then the number of coins sold. And then these, of course, are the American Silver Eagle sales for January, February, and March. Then if we go a little further over to the right, these are the sales for the Platinum Eagles that probably very few people actually care about. Total sales for the American Silver Eagle in January is 3,949,000. Then there was another 900,000 sold in February. And then there was another 900,000 sold for the month of March. How does this compare with 2022? Well, let's go check that out. For the month of January in 2022, the United States Mint sold 5,000,000 American Silver Eagles. Then in February, they sold 1,500,000. And then in March, they sold 1,080,500 American Silver Eagles. For the calendar year of 2022, January, February, and March, that comes out to a total of American Silver Eagles sold 7,581,500 one ounce American Silver Eagles. And in 2023, for the same amount of months, January, February, and March, that's a total of 5,749,000. So the United States Mint sold in 2022 1,832,500 more in the first three months of the year than they did in 2023. For gold, the total ounces sold, here you can see the total ounces sold in January, February, and March, and that comes out to a grand total of 382,000 ounces of gold the United States Mint sold in the first three months of the year. And then if we go over to 2022, the United States Mint sold for the first three months of the year, total ounces of gold, 181,500 in January, 89,500 in February, and 155,000 500 for the month of March. That comes out to a total of 426,500 ounces of gold sold in the first three months of the year, January, February, and March. So the United States Mint also sold more gold in the first three months of the year in 2022 compared to 2023. So far in 2023 for the American Gold Buffalo Bullion Coin, the United States Mint has sold 136,000 ounces or 136,000 coins for the one ounce American Gold Buffalo. And then here you can see the sales for January, February, and March. And then here is the 2022 sales. And you can see that the United States Mint also sold more coins and ounces in 2022 for each of the three months. They sold 59,000 in 2023, and they sold 61,500 in the month of January in 2022. In February of 2023, they sold 19,500. In February of 2022, they sold 28,500. And then in March of 2023, they sold 57,500. And in March of 2022, they sold 64,000. All the way around, the United States Mint has sold in the first three months of the year more gold and silver in 2022 versus 2023, whether it be the American Gold Eagle, the American Silver Eagle, or the American Gold Buffalo. In this video, we looked at the sales from 2023 in comparison with 2022 for the American Silver and Gold Eagles. Sales are clearly down in 2023 from what they were in 2022, and sales are definitely down in 2023 from where they were in 2021 and in 2020. Is that because the United States Mint can't keep up with demand, or is demand down? One way we can gauge demand could be because premiums are going up, but that in itself may not tell the whole story. Bullion coins from the United States Mint changes hands through so many different parties, starting with the United States Mint selling 
to the authorized purchasers. Then the authorized purchasers selling these coins to distributors and maybe them distributors sell them to different distributors who then sell them to the coin dealers and coin shops that sell them to the consumer. Is the problem with the premiums because the United States Mint is not meeting demand or are the sales down because that is the demand and the premiums are going up because so many different parties want to make more of a profit. Everything in this video was just my thoughts, my opinions based on the facts as I know them. Let me know your thoughts, your opinions in the comment section below. I appreciate everybody for taking the time out of your day to watch this video. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and I'll talk to everybody on my next video. Thanks a lot, everyone.